Hey guys, uh, it's me again doing another tutorial. This is actually the same or kind of a continuation on the last one I did. We're going to try to blow this non-perfect white background to perfect white without it looking too fake. If you recall from my last video, um, I mentioned that using a not full body shot to blow out the background will look a lot more realistic than if you use a full body shot. Problem being, if you use a full body shot, and you have a little bit of white below the feet or something and there's no reflection it's very hard to ground your subject and getting that reflection in is not easy personally I don't know how to do it I haven't had any experience doing it um, Zach Arias suggests using tile board from Home Depot which will give you natural reflection which will be a lot nicer to work with um, again blowing the background to complete white in the camera is the best way to do it obviously it'll look more natural but in case you can't or in case you know you're shooting really quick and didn't notice that it didn't blow to perfect white or you only have one light like in this shot um, it is possible to fix it in Photoshop later so that's what we're gonna do now um, this was one strobe uh, this was from the photo shoot uh, fashion show photo shoot that I shot um, it was a fun shoot um, see if my computer's freezing a bit. Fun shoot, but I only had a very, very little space. My models were pretty much, as you can see from the shadow, pressed against a wall. Luckily, it was a pretty clean white wall. Um, so, so what we're going to do, same method, we're going to use our quick selection tool, and we're just going to click around the subject and let Photoshop do all the hard work for now. And just to tell you how easy this is, I'm using my trackpad on my laptop, not even a mouse, so you can do it quickly, well, etc., without having a lot of equipment. So, again, zoom in, make sure you get all these little, little areas. Um, if the background is plain white or like a pretty solid color, it'll be a lot easier for Photoshop to work. Um, and it'll go a lot quicker. This is decently quick. Um, when this happens, as you can see, that little lip of the fabric is not included in the selection. Press Alt or Option, depending what system you use, and just highlight what you want to be included. And that'll erase that selection. Again, go along the outside, make sure that all the edges are pretty good. See down here, we have to fix that up, otherwise that would get chopped off. Zoom in, fix this, just little, little highlight areas of white. And this is what will help make it look realistic. Um, the more time you put towards the edges, the better the final project will look. Um, so while I do that, just bear with me. Went a little too far there. Okay, that looks pretty good other than this area here, which we just got. So now, we're going to zoom in on the head. You really want to see the hairs. Um, see all these individual hairs? I hope you can see this on 480p or whatever this is recording in. But there's little hairs that are sticking out. Um, the more of those that you can get in with the white, the more real it'll look. So now we're right-clicking and clicking Refine Edge. Sorry, just drawn my guitar. Um, now you're going to play with your radius. Mostly that's going to be it. Um, maybe a little feathering, but just pretty much drag that up, see what it'll grab. You're wanting to get these hairs like that. Like that's perfect. 22.5 pixels in this case. That'll include those hairs in the mask layer so you're not whiting those out. And now once we've done that, I'm going to zoom out so we can see everything to make sure everything goes to white. Okay, now we're going to go to Curves Adjustment Layer, and then just drag it up pretty much as much as you can. And then there you have it. Now we're going to look at our edges, um, see if we got to do this again. As you can see, you can see these tiny hairs and white between them. Again, that will make it look much more realistic, much less cut out. Um, honestly, that is looking pretty good to me. Just see it if there's any. Sorry about that, a little sick. Um, you know, there's this little area around the bottom of his jacket that's 
a little weird. Um, with clone tool, you can just blacken that out and whiten this out. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that right now, but that's easy stuff to fix. Um, and actually, it'll look kind of like a uh, light wrap, which you do want some of, because if you properly expose a white background, you'll get a little bit of that on the subject. So, there you go. That's five minutes of Photoshop blowing the background to white. Again, it looks much better if you're not doing a full body shot. Thanks.